Let's go and take a look at this next one. So again, guys, we're just going to find the parts. We're not actually going to sketch the graph. Um, or I can sketch graph. I just want to be able to identify the characteristics here. So in this case, we have the amplitude is just the absolute value of a, which in this case is negative 2. So that's just 2, right? So again, the amplitude now, the half distance is from the max to the min. It was 1, and now it just got stretched to 2. So basically, the graph got stretched. And again, you guys remember when I did the transformations on Desmos. When it's that 1, when the amplitude was 1, it went down to negative 1, up to 1. But when the amplitude was 2, Remember when, eight, remember when it was 8, 2 in front? Did it matter if it was a negative 2 or a positive 2? Right? That's just a reflection. So it goes down to negative 2, up to 2. Yes? Are you just reading the vector when you do it? What do you mean? Because the amplitude is just the absolute value of A. Um, Definition. No, look, no, 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 I'm saying look up there though. Amplitude is absolute value of A. So you find A, and then you just take the absolute value of it. But yes, I am kind of working a little bit in that direction. I'm doing A, the B, the C, and then the D, right? The period, which I believe what you were referring to, the period is going to be how long it takes the graph to repeat itself. Well, remember, guys, in our initial period, this is just one revolution around the unit, around the unit circle, right? Oh, actually. Um, but we recognize, though, if we horizontally compress the graph, that, that changes how long it takes the graph to repeat itself, right? And we can see that this is a horizontal compression. So we take 2 pi divided by 2, which equals pi. Now, quick little thing I forgot to mention. Does 1 and negative 1 make sense for this graph? Like, why is the maximum and the minimum negative 1 and 1? Again, where do these points come from? The unit circle. The unit circle has a radius of? One, of course we're never going to have a point higher or lower, lower than one. Agreed? But when you put a two in front of there, what are you really just doing? You're evaluating. You're going to get one or negative one. And then you're just multiplying it by two. That's why the max and the min is going to be two and negative two, right? Does that make sense? So you can really kind of see that this point and say, oh, yes, the definition is half distance from the max to the min. But you can see that kind of gives you the limitation of how far that graph is being expanded. High and low. Yes? OK. Phase shift. Am I adding or subtracting anything inside the function? No, so skip that one. Let's do the vertical transformation. Vertical transformation. You can see I'm subtracting 1 on the outside. So therefore, that's going to be down 1. Right? That's not inside. If that was inside the parentheses, we would say there's a phase shift. But it's not. It's outside. But again. Here's where people get mixed up. So the domain, they don't get mixed up. They get mixed up on the range. Because they say, oh, the graph goes down from negative 2 to 2. So the range is from negative 2 to 2. And you're right, until we do a shift. right? Yes, the graph is expanded from negative 2 to 2. Or actually, I'm sorry. Yeah, the graph is going from negative 2 to 2. But then it got shifted down 1. So now it goes from negative 3 to 1. And then what other transformation did I not write? It doesn't impact any of the answers, but it is a transformation. What about that negative? What does that do? Reflects about the x-axis. Now, that does change the graph, right? Now the graph is being reflected. So the graph would change, but it doesn't change any of our answers. Okay. So we'd have a reflect x-axis. You agree the graph. Here's the negative 1 to 1. The 2 makes it go from negative 2 to positive 2. So if you shift the graph down 1, you're now at negative 3 to 1. OK? All right, guys, you want to do one more? No? Perfect.